Today I'm going to be sharing with you my delicious, scrumptious, mwah, perfectly perfect cut out cookies recipe. I am also going to be showing you how to make rose cookies, swirl center cookies, three colored circle cookies and also our butterfly cookies. Stay tuned! So with our cut out cookies recipe, the first thing that we're going to need is one cup of butter. Now guys, if you want to use half cup of butter and half cup of shortening, that is quite fine because the end result is going to be exactly the same. But for me guys, when it comes to making cut out cookies, I like to use only butter. However, half butter, half shortening is just another option for this delicious cut out cookies recipe. Alright guys, so the next ingredient that we're going to need is granulated sugar. And we're going to need approximately half cup of granulated sugar that we're going to be adding to our butter for creaming. Before we start our creaming process, we're going to be adding half cup of confectioner sugar to our butter and our granulated sugar. It's time for us to start creaming! And guys, we're going to be creaming our mixture until it is light in color and fluffy. For those who want to know why cream butter and sugar, we cream the butter and sugar to leaven and lighten the cookie. And guys, pull your ears a bit closer, let me tell you a little secret. We also cream the butter and sugar to get more cookies. Once we have that nice fluffy butter that we're looking for, we're going to be mixing in quarter teaspoon salt. Trust me guys, this is the best cut out cookies recipe you'll ever try. Don't forget to share this cut out cookies recipe with your family, friends and loved ones. Alright guys, so the next thing we're going to need is two beaten eggs. So once we're through with mixing or beating our eggs, we're going to be gently adding this to our butter batter. You want to gradually add your eggs to your butter mixture to disperse the egg liquid and promote even amount of liquid to fat. If you do add all the eggs at once, then your batter is going to curdle and guys, we don't want that because your cut out cookies are going to come out faulty. So take your time and mix those eggs in like what I am doing. No rush guys. Once we're through with mixing in our eggs, it's time for us to add half teaspoon vanilla extract. So the next thing we're going to need is two cups of cake and pastry flour. Now guys, if you don't have cake and pastry flour, no worries. I got you. I got you. <laughs> you can substitute this by adding one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour and quarter cup cornstarch. But guys, before you use this, ensure that you sift these together. Time for us to fold in our flour into our butter mixture. And guys, do this slowly. If you reached this far in the video, comment down below LLH Cut Out Cookies. And there we go. 
we have our delicious well <laughs> and there we have our cookie dough all ready to go in the refrigerator and guys we're going to be adding this to our refrigerator for two hours so yes guys you're going to cover this and put it in your refrigerator for two hours two hours later now that we have our cookie dough all ready we're going to remove it from our dish mm -hmm. yes yeah, so we're going to try and remove all our cookie dough from our dish then guys what we're going to be doing is to roll our cut out our cookie shape size or whatever you want to do this is where you're going to get creative and mold out your cookies so for this video I'm going to be showing you about four ways in which you can make your cookies so instead of just making the regular round cookies square cookies drop cookies yes I'm going to be showing you some more creative ways to make some cookies the first one that i'm going to be showing you is the rose cookies and it is what i'm it is that's what i'm actually doing at the moment and what you need is three small circles from each dough yes guys so you're going to you know make some small circles you don't need them big and they don't have to be as perfect 
or equal they don't have to be uniform yep so we're going to get three from the green three from the regular doe color three from the blue and three from the orange our next step on how to make rose cookies is to press those small balls that we have created then we're going to join them just like what i am doing right now now guys don't forget to share this delicious cut out cookies recipe with your family friends loved ones and loved ones all right you can arrange the colors however you'd like and if you only want to use two colors no problem now guys we're going to be rolling all these colors together if you've not yet subscribed to long life and health channel then do the donor guys subscribe hit the post notification bell so that when i post a new video you're going to be the first to be notified the bottom now all we're going to do is to pinch this off and press the bottom so that it can sit perfectly then we're going to be opening our rose petals slightly because we don't want to break any of the petals so you take your time and just open all those petals and that's how to make rose cookies the next cookie that we're going to be making is the three colored circle cookies so we're going to need three different color cookie dough and what we're going to do is to shape them into a ball just like what i'm doing here then guys we are going to be joining them so once you make all three balls you're going to join them together and when we are through with that you can use a cup or you can use a small dish to press and turn clockwise so you press and turn press and turn so that that we have here you can use your knife to cut this out or you can also use the cup to shape out the cookie that you want and yes guys we're going to remove the excess that we have on the outer part of our cookie and yep you can also clean off the edges of your cookies once you take it up you put it in the freezer right away yep so there you have the three colored circle cookies the next cookie that we're going to be making is our swirl centered cookie so we're going to be making a small square in our cream dough yep so just shape that girl up then we're going to also need a small square that is smaller than our cream square that we have created so just a little bit smaller than the first square that we have created so the only difference with this cookie and pinwheel cookie is that for pinwheel all the squares are equal so if you want to make pinwheel cookie just cut all your squares equal then roll them alrighty so the next color that we're going to be adding to the center of this is the orange yep so we're going to remove the sides once you add the orange then roll this up all right so my cookie was a little bit too soft so i put it in the refrigerator before i cut these up and press them so you can do that as well if you realize that your dough is getting a little bit too soft and our final creative cookie is our butterfly so all you have to do guys
so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave your comment down below and subscribe for more.